Welcome guys with a new video. Today I'm going to share a new list which is useful for the numbering. The list name is Numic Numbering. So I have loaded first. The command of this list is NUMIC Numic. Okay. When you enter the command, this window will be appear. There are multiple options to change. So I will go one by one. In the start, we have three boxes here prefix middle and suffix okay and this is the increment okay and this one is section of increment so we can change follow the cursor okay first of all prefix for example i am giving zero here okay here i uncheck all the box then i am clicking okay zero 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 and then space if i enter the space and after the space i am entering the command again okay so what we did here we put the zero so here is zero so this value came here is now by default okay now i want to change this value to one then okay click click here click here click here if i enter the space button okay so the one will be by default value enter the space button then enter the command again you can see the default value is here one let's move forward I am checking the prefix checkbox then ok now 1 so the value is changed automatically 1 2 3 4 ok here if I enter the escape button my default value will be 0 but if I enter the enter button so my default value will be 5 so if I re-enter the command so this program will follow the next number I'm gonna change zero again here we are giving the increment how much increment is required for example I want the incremental factor 2 then ok for example here I click zero so the increment is 2 then 4 then 6 and then 8 then 10 ok enter so now I'm changing again the value zero here for example I need the increment 10 okay 0 10 20 30 40 50 enter re-enter the command 0 okay I will bring back the increment to 1 okay now I am adding one another alphabet with the number here for example I put a but here the, the increment box is unchecked so the a will be not changed but the numbering will be changed okay so you guys can see 0 1 2 3 4 okay enter the next is I am change it to 0 again now I have to check the middle box so ok 0 see both are changing so here the number of the prefix and the middle both is changing ok enter the third one is if I want to add something more for example bring back to 0 and A ok so now you guys can see the changes the middle and the prefix is changing but the suffix is not changing enter now I am clicking here also here I have to write A and 0 now the three words will be changed ok see the changes 0 a a 1 b b 2 c c so the changes will be like this next i can change the increment here also for example 2 a 0 and a so now the incremental factor will be 2 c so this changes has happened now the middle one the changing of the middle one is not required for me this time a 0 so so the a is constant still the middle one is constant it is not changed now here we can change the layer see this time the layer is 0 for example I want to change it row level text then click now you guys can see the layer is changed enter again from here the text style we can change it for example x section text style I have in this drawing ok see the text style is changing 
re-enter. From here we can adjust the text also. Now from here we can change the size of the text. For example, I need 5. So we can change quickly the size of the text here. Now we can change it to text also. This is M text. Now here we can add the background. Okay. Now we can change the color of the background also. We can change the offset of the background also. See, now the background offset is less. So let me bring back to 3 and then uncheck. Here we can add the border. From here I select the circle. We can give the different layer to the border. So here the text layer is different and the border layer is different. We can change the offset here. You guys can see the offset is changed. We can change it to rectangle. We can change the offset of the rectangle. We can change it to the slot. So we can change this offset for the we can change it to the polygon the polygon sides we can increase for example 10 so the polygon number is increased now from here we can fix it for example I want this size okay so the size is the same you guys can see now uncheck this option now this window introduction is completed so i am creating array now here i am inputting one and here i am inputting five okay five item i want five items draw in the drawing then okay i want to draw from here to here okay so one two three four five now for example i need the two items only then I am writing here 0, the increment is 1, then OK, but the distance I need from here to here, so 0, 1, OK, enter, then again from here to here, OK, the array items will be 2, but the increment will be 1. If we change the 2 and here we write to 0, so the incremental factor will be 2 for example from here to here so the increment is 2 not 1 the next is I have to write it 0 again increment is 1 now I need the array perpendicular then ok the distance from here to here but now it is perpendicular so other we can give the angle here 45 angle then ok from here to here the distance is required so we can give angle here now this window is explained already so now I am explaining where this list will be useful okay for example I have these cross section I want to put these changes on every 10 interval so what I will do I will enter the command so I will write here ch space 0 plus okay so here I will uncheck the prefix but the middle I will check so here I will write 000, 000, 000. so the increment I am writing 10 because the change interval is 10 meter okay so now you guys can see the text size is very large enter I have to write enter 0.3 so this is the change 10 20 here because it is example so I am changing the layer also okay so now 0 10 20 30 40 enter so we can use this list to paste the changes okay the most important we can use it for the drawing numbering also for example I have this drawing okay so I want this drawing number okay so these are the series for example I put these numbers incorrect for example 
for example the real number of this drawing is for me 5 so this drawing number is starting from 3006 okay 3007 3008 okay but in actual for example i need this one is like 3.3005 okay so what i will do double click and i am copying this part control c n u m i c i will paste it all the this part up to here in this first box three picks second i will write 3005 and minus 01 and i will change the increment to one because the increment of the drawing number is one okay see so the text size i am changing to two see the drawing number is like this so now the five and then six and then seven <clears throat> but the adjustment of the text you will delete this one and you will keep this one as per the size so it is also not the easiest way the good way to use this list n u m enter for example i need the five okay this number i need here to five here is a trick what i am doing here i will enter r so when i press the r command so the text of the numbering will be changed you guys can see now it is five click six seven eight nine enter enter up to nine i change okay so this is the very easiest way to change the numbering through this list that's it guys hopefully this list will be helpful for you i will give the link description down below thanks for watching bye